sky, schools of fish are on the move. Reef and spinner sharks are close behind. Debbie's Seven. a short distance away from Craig when she notices the darkening sky. When I saw a storm coming, I knew I needed to walk to shore. I turned around and I faced the shore, and all of a sudden, this big fish just jumped out of the water right next to me. And I thought, uh oh. Why would a fish be jumping out of the water right next to me with such force? That's not a good sign. It's a sign a predator may be near. As soon as I finished that thought, a shark just grabbed onto the back of my foot and bit down. This scream just kind of came up from my body. She can't see anything in the churned up water. I thought to myself in my, in my mind, don't seem like prey. I was kicking my foot. It just bit down harder. This shark is just trying to eat my foot. As Craig pulls on Debbie, the shark rips away a piece of her foot. And we stumble onto the shore. Just then, <laughs> oh. Tony, a critical that, that, that's, that's not me. Hey, look, it's you. And, uh, I saw a trail of blood. I thought, oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The shark sliced yeah. through that's so cool. You can bleed to death in just yeah. minutes if an artery is exposed. Wow. I put the towel and cool. held light pressure just enough to stop the bleeding. We were running against time because the storm was coming fast now. It takes Debbie months to learn to walk again. But she goes back to what she knows, reporting. But now her subject is her attacker, the shark. She quickly finds that as many as 73 million sharks are being killed each year. Sharks are in trouble. The most valuable part of a shark is its fin. Their fins are sliced off, and then the rest of the carcass is thrown overboard. They are very desirable as a soup ingredient, mostly in Asian markets. And fishermen can fetch up to $300 per pound for the fins. I believe it's the growing populations of affluent people of Chinese descent that are fueling the demand 